Hey, little buddy. Did I get you? Did I get you? Be honest. I scare you a little bit. <laughs> Happy time zone, everybody. Happy day. Happy time zone. Come on, baby. I didn't get you. Not even a little bit. Get out of here. How's everybody doing? You ready to hang out with the fam today? Well, if you're not too bad, you better you better deal with it. We got a long day out of us. It's either gonna be two live streams or one long lime stream. I've I've no lime stream. Oh my god. English, bro. Yeah, it's either going to be two live streams or one long live stream. We'll just see how it plays out. Because I might need a break in the middle. We'll see. Uh, I know. I'm already I'm a mess. I'm an absolute mess. Let's see what we got. Hey, Shay. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Nagam. Yuan Yen. Hello. Melody, you're tired. You're tired from last night or last night's shenanigans. <laughs> Hey, Aiden. Hey, Becca. You little raider goof. Pizza genius. Stay. Cashew. All right. The whole whole kitten caboodle is here. All right. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to give you a heads up. First and foremost. Um, today is going to be a little different from the usual live stream for a couple reasons in a couple ways I should say I'm going to slow down the pace a little bit today okay um, you know last night we did Fireball Friday which is pretty much guaranteed chaos and truth be told, it's, a, I mean, for me, it's a, it's a bit of a pace, right? Because the more we do this, especially when we get into the Discord requests, it can be, it, it's, it becomes kind of like a factory a little bit, right? I want to try to get to as many requests as I can, but I also want to like short somebody if you put a request in, you know, you want to hear my thoughts or whatever. So I try to just make it as beneficial and enjoyable as possible, okay? Um, but as far as today goes, there's several things that I kind of have in the proverbial basket, if you will. And as, as I see fit, as I kind of read the room and you read my room, hey -oh, uh, we'll just kind of go from there, okay? Um, really just a matter of slowing down, being able to kind of interact with each other. Because on the reactions, that's kind of difficult, you know? I try to do as 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 best I can so it doesn't feel like I'm just talking at you because if I were to do that I just make regular videos you know but I, I want to hang out with you right so yeah I'm gonna slow it down make it bouncy that's right stay um but one of the things that we have how many of you were here for the first we did it on a live stream. It was like a live stream Discord training. You remember that? Okay, so some of you were here for it. That's good. And there's probably a lot of you that were not. Okay, and you might either already be in the Discord or maybe you're not because it's you're not sure how it works. It's a little overwhelming. Well, today we're going to do something similar, okay? So if, if you're not in the Discord and you kind of want to be, or maybe if you've tried it before and you're like, nope, this is six ways of nope, I'm out because you just don't know what the hell's going on. I get that. I understand that. I'm going to give you another opportunity today because what's going to happen is 
I'm gonna kind of walk you through a few things. Okay, and even those of you that are Discord vets, you already kind of know your way around, you might pick up a couple tricks too. But this is all with a goal, okay? Because if you were here for the first Discord training, I mentioned something. I mentioned that maybe we'll use this power that we have of Discording and we'll use those powers in ways, maybe like a secret mission. You might remember me saying that. Well, that is still the case. That is still on the table. And I realized we need more people. I don't mean we need more people in the Discord. We need more people that kind of know at least how to navigate Discord because we have a secret mission. That's all I'm going to say about that for right now. So what I'll say is this. This is how we're going to kick things off, okay? We're going to do Twitch today. Um, we're going to do a couple things on Discord that don't necessarily involve music because every time we play music on YouTube, they throw a fit, they start clapping us, and then they kind of force us out to YouTube. I don't know what's going on lately, but it's crazy, okay? Um, so we're just going to kind of keep it chill here on YouTube and then we'll make the switch over to Twitch and go from there. All right, let's see. If you, if you have not already made a, uh, a discord account, now's the time. Okay. Um, mods, if you would throw up the discord link for me, please. And what you can do is um, you can click on this link that they're gonna put in the chat and uh, that will lead you through the process of at least making an account and then we can go from there, okay? It should also invite you into our Discord and that's the first step, okay? Let's see here. And while I give you a moment to do that, I'm going to tell the rest of you a little story. I know this shouldn't shock you, but the reason I will tell you this story is because it will, it will be loosely related, not really, but it'll be related to our secret mission in a way. It'll lead you at least to the understanding of how I came to this idea of the secret mission, okay? So to give people time to make a Discord account and get into the Discord, I'm just gonna tell you the story. And even if you're not a gamer, I hope you can at least appreciate this, okay? Because I am gonna be talking about video games just a little bit, but even if you're not a gamer, hopefully it'll make sense. For a lot of you that know, that are in the know, I was madly addicted to World of Warcraft for years, madly addicted, okay? And this is after my military days, like I'm out in real life now, I'm married, I have a family, like this is, okay, this is my life now. And I became addicted to World of Warcraft. Um, and in there, one of the things I found most addicting was that when you go into this fantasy world, and I'll, I'll give you a little picture here so you can kind of understand. Uh, let me find a good one. Okay, here we go. Got it. Okay. That should work right there. Okay. So this is a picture of a spot in the game. Okay, there's what we call a battleground. And in the battleground, it's basically you have Team A and Team B, and we'll just say the good guys and the bad guys. And for sake of subjectivity and simplicity of this story, I'm gonna say I'm one of the good guys, okay? So down here, you can see this, this flag right here. It's kind of a capture the flag, but it's like a territory game where if this right here, no, nope, right here is the whole map, okay? I will get to the point, I promise you. It's just kind of complicated in a way. So this is the whole map, OK? 
okay? Way up here is where the good guys start. They jump on their horses and mounts and they ride all the way down. They pass all these graveyards and, and outposts. And then the bad guys start all the way down here. Now keep in mind that everything I am talking about when I say good guys and bad guys, I'm talking about real people. So there's me playing one of the good guys and I have 39 other people, real people, that are good guys with me. And we can chat together and we can DM each other and blah, blah, blah. And then on the bad guys side, you got 40 bad guys, real people. And it's kind of a, the goal is if we're the good guys, we got to go all the way down south. We've got to capture all these territories. And then when we get to the bottom, that's where the bad guys general is. The goal of the map is to kill the enemy's general first. No time limit. That's the goal. So when, what you end up with is right here in the very center of the map, you end up with something like this. This is the actual spot. Okay, so you got all these good guys running down here and they're gonna meet right in the middle. You see all the bad guys across the map? Well, they've chosen to not get into combat. So this is kind of what it looks like. There's a lot going on. Good guys fighting bad guys. We're trying to capture flags. It's all, there's a lot happening, okay? Here's why I tell you this. In my addicted days, you see this colored box over here? All of these boxes that you see are different players, okay, that are in your group, or in your, your raid. You have the option to message each one of these people individually. You can do all this kind of stuff, okay? And you see down here, there's all this information. You can chat back and forth, but there's a lot going on. I come into the map, okay, and somebody says, as soon as I walk in, all the good guys are backed up into our base, all 40 of us, like rats in a corner, and all of the bad guys are coming in to where our general is. There is literally, there's nowhere to go, okay? And somebody says, this battle has been going on for 36 hours, 36 hours. Now, not to say that all of them have been there, but when you pull up the clock in the match, it says game active 36 hours, that this has been happening. So I'm like, oh, this is a, this is a disaster. This is no go. But I'm with my brother-in-law, Bert, and he's like, dude, this is a fiasco. Let's just leave and get another match, right? 36 hours has been going on. I said, no, dude, we can win this. Of course, that's how I think. No, dude, we can win this. He's like, bro, they're literally in the room with the general. I know, but, but there's, there's always a way. Now, keep in mind that of the 40 people that are on my team, only a handful of them really care about winning. Everybody else just wants to like, farm points and run around and just be active because then you just get free points. It's easy. I wanted to win. I wanted to win. So I find a little bush and I jump into the bush and I go and I start typing to my team, all 40 people in the group. If anybody can follow instructions like an adult, I'm already sassy. Send me a message and I will put you in a team. And I start getting a couple messages, a couple DMs. I'm in, I'm in, okay? And I start organizing the groups, okay? Okay, you're gonna be in team one. Okay, you're team two. Um, I need other people that are willing to push past this and can follow instructions. Hey, me, me, I'm in. I ended up getting about 15 people that I organized into different groups, team one, team two, team three. And then I said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. When I give you the go, we're all going to meet off to the east. We're going to meet at the cave. Once we get everybody, we're going to start shifting. Team one, you're going to go left at the tunnel. Team, right, team two, you're going to go right up the hill. And then team three, you're going to go straight. We're going to reconvene in the next spot. Ready? Go. And it was like clockwork. Well, now we had 15 people that made progress. Boom, all of a sudden, a blue flag goes up in the center. And everybody back home goes, wait, how did we, how did we do that? Hey, I need more people that can get down here. Oh, we're, we're doing okay. Let's, 
let's, uh, hey, I'm in, I'm in. Put you in a team, put you in a team. Now I got 20 people. Then I got 25 people. Next thing you know, our guys start to push out of our, our base, okay? We've gained some ground. For 10 hours, I sat there in general mode. Okay, team two, team two move left. And all I can see is this map that you see right here. And I can see where our players are. I can't see where the enemy are, but I can see where our guys are. Okay, all right, team five, go. And we start to organize this thing. For 10 hours, we fought. And after 10 hours, we killed their general. This was one of the first times in my life that I was like, huh, maybe, maybe I can lead stuff. Maybe I can be a little bit of a leader. This is after the Marine Corps, right? So I took this screenshot, right? This is my character. His name was Karma. He's a warrior. And this is the two towers that sit in front of the general's room. So after this 10 hour battle, that of course I was there for the entire thing. General, we killed the general. What a comeback, oh man. Amazing. So I took this picture, because it was a huge deal to me. And that made me think, we could do stuff like that. Now I don't mean I want you to go start playing World of Warcraft, but like we have a community. Some of you can listen. And I think we might be able to cause some chaos in other places. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yep. So that's why I tell you that story. Not only to buy time for the people that want to make an account, but I figured maybe we could cause some chaos. Now here's the catch. I'm gonna run you through the Discord stuff. I'm gonna show you some stuff, show you how it works, and you'll get the idea. And then once you understand the basic fundamentals, you understand that's like, okay, well, you showed me X, Y, and Z. I really just need to know X to go in and talk to people and have fun. That's pretty much the case. I'll just show you a couple things. But know that we're training. Okay? We're training. Also understand. Understand that the classification of this mission is for official use only. You do not pass the word. You don't tell anybody what we're doing in here. This is, this is within our ranks. We keep this in-house because if anybody knows what we're doing, they're going to close their doors. Now, of course, we're gonna have to kick them down, but no, I wanna just like slowly infiltrate. Okay, good. I'm glad you understand. Minor details, Jim. That's right, Joyce, first rule of, ooh, this is, this is the name I came up with. Oh, this is so good. Look at that. Did I send that? There it is. Disc Ward. Oh, isn't that so clever? I'm so clever. Disc Ward. <laughs> Nagam, we don't, we don't, we don't have any, we don't have any targets yet. No, not Squidward. Yeah. You know, we've caused enough chaos here in our own area. I feel like we've burned down a lot of stuff. Now it's time to go outside and play. And I need you all on point, ready to go. And when I put you in a team and I say, blue team go, red team go, you know exactly what channel to go to and what gift to pull up. Whoosh, chaos, chaos, chaos. Whew. Blue team go, red team go. Gift, 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 thirsty. Oh. I can't wait. But anyway, yeah, so there is a method to the madness. There are reasons that we have decided, I have decided to do this. Mm -hmm. Let me pull up my screen here. <sighs> I 
Okay, here is the server. And is Lulu here? Let's see. Oh, there you are. Okay, good. There we go. Sweet. So Lulu being the, the head couch cushion, she's my, she's my lieutenant. Okay. Jojo's going to, or Jojo, pff, Jojo on the brain, clown. Um, Lulu is going to keep me straight. So as I kind of walk you through this, if there's a correction that needs to be made, or if, if Lulu, you think I'm missing something, call me out. Okay. I know Lulu is horde and I still choose to love her. That's a World of Warcraft reference in case you didn't get. Okay, so hopefully you have, um, you've created your account. I'm gonna bring up my window here, maybe. All right, let's take this here, here, right there. That's good enough. So this is the first page that you should see when you create an account, okay? These are all the rules. Please read the rules, understand what they mean because you wanna stick around, right? We respect each other, we play nice. Now yeah, we get a little rowdy sometimes, but we're still respectful. And then you're gonna go down here, right here under Mr. Botto, it says accepting the rules, okay? You accept, you acknowledge the rules, and then you're gonna click one time this green check mark, okay? And you should see the number raised by one. And then if you're not sure if you clicked it, there's literally a blue box around it, okay? Right there, see that? Yep, click, click, and you see it raised by one, okay? That will give you all of these channels that you see on the left side. Now, this is the point where people go, oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. This is crazy. I get it. But remember, as overwhelming as this seems, there's only a couple things that you're actually going to be doing, okay? Real simple. So once you accept the rules, all these channels are gonna pop up, okay? Yeah, I see all of them. You should see a button up here that says browse channels. Now for you veterans, this might be something that you didn't know about. This might help you clean up your Discord a little bit, okay? You click browse channels, and it's gonna give you all of the channels that we have. Think of these as chat rooms, like the old, the old days, God, the old AOL days, okay? Every single channel is here, and while you're like, oh man, this is so much. Well, each one just gives you a little rundown. Uh, let's see, uh, Discord tips, a channel for helping you navigate Discord. Ask questions on how to get around. Some of your questions are already answered, okay? If you need support for something, we have support tickets. We have a giveaway channel if you like free stuff. Comfy couch chat and so on. Selfie channel if you wanna share some pictures, you wanna tell your story, introduce yourself. But here's the catch, all these channels, okay? The ones that you have checked on the right side are the ones that are gonna show. So let's say you come in here and you are hardcore army. I'm army baby all day. Well, you go down and we have BTS channels. So you can check all those BTS channels and then you'll have access to all of those. And then you scroll down further, and you're like, wait, there's Stray Kids channels? Uh, I'm not ready for those yet. So I'm not gonna check those, okay? And you scroll down and you've got AT's channels. Ooh, I'm not ready for that yet. That's fine, someday. Now we also have adult channels, which can be anything from gifts of Wassa to gifts of Wassa. I mean, that's just the one that I visit a lot, but there's, there's some other thirsty chats. Now understand those are the 18 and up channels, okay? And so on. So you just choose the ones that you want. Now you don't have to do this right now. The browse channels, section, the button you're gonna find all the way at the top of that chat list, or chat list. This right here on this left-hand side that you see scrolling, browse channels should be at the top. And for some reason it's not, check the bottom. 
because I think some of you might be on a phone or you might be on a Mac. Oh, let me turn that off. Spamming the sounds. Okay. Now there's one thing I forgot. This is where I count on Lulu. Where is it? Ah. Oh, that makes sense. If you look on the left-hand side, we have these categories, okay? Now, you won't see the admin channels and stuff. Whoops. That's for me because I'm special. We have information, announcements, channel guide, all that stuff. Roles. Click on roles. And this is going to show you all of the different roles that we have in the channel. Okay, and what that means is kind of like keys, okay? You want keys to the BTS room, you need the BTS role. If you want keys to the adult room and you're 18 and above, you click on the adult role. Okay, so for instance, uh, this is the BTS group and channel tag. So right here, see this little emoji under that? You click that and it's gonna put a key, a tag, in your profile that will then give you access to those channels, okay? Just like that, I see you clicking it now. We've got watch party crew, we've got team fun. I'll let you go and read through these as, as you get time. Uh, this is the adults only tag. Remember, this is for 18 and above. If you take this tag and we find out that you are not 18 and above, bad things happen, okay? We got the dude crew tag, we got the YouTube notification tag. Every time that I drop a video, if you want a notification, click that notification tag on the YouTube. We've got the same thing for Twitter, you get notified when I tweet. Same thing for Twitch, you get notified when I go live on Twitch. So again, you're just kind of collecting keys like Pokemon. And remember, if you're not sure what's what, all of the descriptions are in each one of these roles so you understand what's what. Okay, and all you have to do is just click on that little emoji under each description and that will give you the tag. That's it. Twitch notifications, Twitter notifications, all like that. That's it, okay. Same thing with crotch crew, 18 and up. We got the Stray Kids tag. Just click on that little icon down there. It will give you access to those channels, okay? AT's channels or roles and so on. Now, Isabel, when you click that emoji, you're not gonna see anything happen right away. But once you come back out of that, you, st you should start to see the channels loading on the left-hand side or wherever your channel list is, okay? So once you select your roles, and that kind of unlocks the Discord for you. Now, Isabel, do you see the, uh, the browse channels now? You can go through and select your channels, all that good stuff. That'll help you kind of keep the Discord clean because it can be overwhelming, I get that. All right, everybody's good? You're in the big comfy couch, perfect. All right, couch chat. All right, for those of you that are in, okay? You've accepted the rules, you've chosen the role, make sure you uh, choose whatever roles you want. I want you to go down until you see chat channels. Could should be the blue circles. And you're gonna click on comfy couch. And that's gonna put you in the comfy couch chat room, okay? And I want you to either say hi, you can put up a GIF. You should have options there on the chat bar of like GIF and stickers and stuff. You wanna try a GIF? Let's see if I can put a little, there we go, we got some new people. I'm gonna say um, BTS hi. Oh, look at that. Hello. And that's how you start chatting. Now, for those of you that are not only new to Discord, but you, um, maybe you're a little, you get a little nervous, you're not quite sure how to interact, 
there's one thing that will guarantee you a smooth transaction when you slide into this. You just say hi, or you can say, I have pizza. Boom. All the friends will come in. Even Shin, who doesn't like pizza, will be like, what's up? Of course. See that? That's how you do it. It's pizza. Pizza gifts. Just like that. Trish brings pie. See how easy that is? Piece of cake. Oh, hey, Snooky. How do you go back? You're still in roles. Okay, let's see here. Isabel, you're looking for comfy couch chat. If you can see your chat rooms, you're Caden, huh? Okay, you should get a little notification somewhere. And you can click on that and it'll bring you right over. And as long as you can access that channel list there, you can go all the way up and down until you find what you're looking for. Comfy couch is where everybody is right now. There you are, I see you. Very nice. And those are all your channel groups on the left, okay? Very nice, everybody, very nice. All right, now here's another, uh, another trick for you. If you look over here, okay, we've got these, these big icons you see on the left. For some of you that are new, you're only gonna have this one with the couch and the bunnies. That's our server here, that's the big comfy couch. Every time somebody posts something in a channel, it kind of highlights, like you see birthdays right here, is white versus rolls is gray. That just means somebody posted recently. And me, I'm like, oh, there's so much. I'm never gonna get caught up. So all I have to do is right click on this big comfy couch icon, top left, right click, and go to mark as red. Boop, and it's gonna just turn off those notifications, okay? And you can do that on each one. If I don't wanna get a notification every time somebody posts in rant, rant and vent, I can right click, Go to Mark is Red. I can even mute the channel for 15 minutes, 24 hours, or until I turn it back on. You can still go into the channel, you just won't get notifications, okay? If you're on a phone, you hold down that channel name and it will give you the same options, okay? How to right click on a Mac. <laughs> uh, what is that, command and click maybe? I actually have my right click. <laughs> on on Mac too, I'm, I'm guilty, okay? So everybody is in comfy couch, we all said hello. Okay, here's where the next part begins. One of the tricky things that it takes a little bit of getting used to with Discord is because uh, we wanna keep conversations kind of moving smoothly, but compartmentalized to kind of where they belong, because otherwise we end up with 600 conversations that happen in one channel and you just go and then you're gone, right? So for example, if we're in couch chat, okay, everybody that's in couch chat, I want you to put, um, just go ahead and say hi. No gifts, just say hi. We're gonna start a little conversation here in comfy couch chat. Okay, there's Lee, I see Dunecat. Whoa, look at all these people. Now, unless I'm in there causing chaos, it doesn't seem to move this fast generally, and that's good, okay? Everybody says hi, okay? And now, I'm gonna put my favorite food. I'm just gonna write pizza. Now watch what happens. Margarita, sushi, hot wings. Now you see how the, the topic shifted? If the topic shifts considerably, where now everybody's talking about food, this is where 
a responsible adult has to go, hold on guys, we're kind of flooding this chat with food. Let's go to the food channel. Here's your first objective. I want you to go all the way down to where you see topical chats. It should be, there should be a food and drink channel. And I want you to click on that channel. It's gonna bring you to that channel. And now, pizza. And we're just gonna carry up the conversation in that channel. This is the best way to keep things kind of clean or, or like that. That was good, Night Angel. See how that works? And at first it's a little off-putting. Oh, somebody actually said pudding. Hannah, that was beautiful. It's a little off-putting because you're not quite sure, like, am I and now? If it shifts considerably enough, eh, then now's a good time, okay? Oh yeah, oh, I love your answers. I'm hungry already, <laughs> that's good. Well done, okay. Sugar cookie, that's gonna be me later. Grapes, Misha! <laughs> Jacinda, that's good. Well done. Now, let's say, oh, Roscoe just dropped a video. Go all the way back up and you're gonna see a section called Roscoe Channels, okay? Roscoe Channels. And the top one says YT, which is YouTube, Twitch, Reactions Chat. So I want you to go to that channel. I love this reaction. And I'm commenting on the latest video that dropped, okay? And you might go in there and be like, hey, I did too. Man, he's handsome. What a great guy. He is delightful. But now watch this. Pizza. Chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Mountain Dew. Chocolate cake. Ooh, good one, Shin. Chocolate cake. Grapes. Chocolate. Ooh, pancakes. Tacos. Okay, there we go. So the, the topic, the conversation has shifted. So what channel do we go to? The food channel. Scroll all the way back down. Okay, we're in food now. Now, obviously I'm exaggerating this because we only have so much time. We go back down to food channel, mm, pizza, and then we carry it on. But generally when you're in the discord, you'll be in one channel most of the time. Like that is absolutely the case. You'll, you'll spend most of your time most likely in comfy couch chat, or you might just kind of roll through the, the ATs or Stray Kids or BTS channels, because there's so much to choose from with every single section that we have. That's it, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, and you will discover as you, as you kind of get your feet wet, you'll discover that you really kind of only traverse a small handful of channels, okay? Real easy. But I think this is the biggest thing that gets people is, um, is one, getting in and then kind of understanding, okay, well, what do I do now? Accept the rules, choose your roles, that's basically your keys to each room, and then just find the room that you wanna go to. And it should, once you, choose, once you accept the rules, you choose your roles, it should automatically dump you into the comfy couch chat, okay? So let's regroup at the comfy couch chat. Hi, I'm back. Did you miss me? Yes is the only acceptable answer. Well, here's what's funny, Madeline. Madeline says people not on this stream are gonna be so confused. The beauty of this is we've done this before and people watched it afterwards and you could tell when somebody was going through it because all of a sudden there would be just random gifts popping up and. Comfy couch, food. Twitch reactions, food. <laughs> it was perfect. 
That's it. Hey, Zandria. BK. That's it. Yep. Now, let's say you're in comfy couch chat and you're like, oh man, I don't, how do I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Check this out. You're going to put the at symbol like it's email and you're going to type mod, M O D. And moderator should come up. Maybe moderator is what you should type. Moderator. And then you say, moderator help okay help and that's going to tag one of our moderators and let them know oh somebody needs assistance <laughs> and then you'll get our resident dinosaur shin that will come with her tiny arms and shake your hand now when the mods are asking for help that's when it's time to run Just like that. Okay. Very good. So Linda with a Y says, what if you don't do parasocial relationships? Can you please post relevant stuff elsewhere too? Absolutely. Linda, there are people that will come in and they'll they'll introduce themselves in the story and just say, hi, I'm so-and-so, which you don't even have to do. But if you say, oh, I crocheted this blanket and I want people to see it, you can go down to, where is it? Da, 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 all the way down to topical chats and we have a show and tell. Click on the show and tell, you upload your picture of your blanket and then people can comment on it. And if you don't care, you could bounce out and just you share it and you share it, that's it. Piece of cake. Barracuda, thank you, buddy. Just saw your streaming and just wanted to say how much I've enjoyed re-watching your Ren reactions over and again. Love your energy and insights. Well, Barracuda, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so glad I looked at Ren the second time. Love it. Okay, Liz, no heavy breathing. Now is not the time. That's it, show and tell, just like that. Food and drink, we've got dramas, TV, movies. If you wanna share pictures of your area, of your town, like this is, this is what people do. This is how you connect with people. People know that I love snow, so they share pictures of snow in the My Country, My Home, like I told them to. First Robin of the season, yeah. See what I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Hey, Angela. Okay, now let's, uh, let's get everybody back to comfy couch chat. I think most of you are probably still there. Very good. Okay. Now, you know, sometimes I bring up the Discord and I show you the gifts that people are spamming in the live stream channel. This is the one that you're gonna to wanna to use when you're sharing your pictures of your pizza tonight, for example, or your snacks or your drink that you've selected for Perfest or Fireball Friday or Soju Saturday. Huh, we might have a problem. Um, go down until you see Roscoe Channels and then you have one called Current Live Stream. Boom. Current live stream is what's happening right now on the live stream, okay? So go down there. We're gonna say hi. Everybody say hi in the current live stream channel. Oh yeah. Very good. Now here's your next objective. I want you to post a GIF. Just a hi GIF, say hi in some way visually. Now, because of all the different variables of devices that we might have, I can't tell you how to do it, but it should be very close to wherever you said hi. An icon that says GIF, you just wave and say hello. That's it. Piece of cake, right? 
Mm, cake. Let's get some cake gifts. You see how we're building an army here? Oh, I love this. Cake, 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 cake. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cookie Monster's okay. As long as it's not Grover. Oof. Nice job. Okay, good. All right, and everybody back to Comfy Couch. That's kind of the foyer, if you will. Okay, if you imagine the big comfy couch is a house, comfy couch is like, okay, like the welcome room when you first get your rules and stuff, it's your foyer. And then we can, like, the comfy couch is like the living room. It's probably the easier way to put that. Comfy couch is like the living room. So go in there, reconvene. Everybody's good. Okay, let's get some drinks and don't, don't talk about food. Have a drink. Okay, and reconvene. Nicely done. And we're in the comfy couch chat. Very good. So, Zandria, you can get the badge for that when you go to the roles channel and you click on the adult stuff or crotch crew or all that good stuff. Now that I've called you out on live stream, I regret this decision. <laughs> That's good. So far, so good. Nice. All right, doing it. Now, here's a little tip for you, because as you start going through this madness, every once in a while, you get what I have sometimes, which is like fat finger disease. And you start pressing buttons, and all of a sudden, nothing looks right. Over here on the chat side of things, okay, you see how it says like chat channels, for example? There's a tiny little arrow next to that. Sometimes when you accidentally press that chat channel's title, it minimizes all of the channels and it doesn't actually tell you in any real normal way that you've minimized it. So you're like, well, where is the, where's that one channel I saw? You probably minimized one of those sections. Okay. And all you have to do is just touch the title of that section and it will bring everything back. And that can happen on all of them. Okay. All right. Here is the next objective. Listen close. When you scroll down, you got chat channels, you've got Roscoe channels, and then you've got one called Roscoe's Content Catalog, okay? I want you to go to that first one that says Roscoe's Reactions. This is an entire catalog of every single reaction I have ever released, okay? I'm trying to get to the top. The idea behind this is when you see the video, like, oh, I've watched this one. Click that green check mark, click. And then you know, I've watched that. Now, some of you are what we call completionists. You wanna know if you have done it all. This is how you do that. It's how you keep track of all that. And Shannon, yes, we are absolutely gonna do that. Okay. So in a perfect world, you're just going through, you're like, oh, I've watched that one, click. And if you're not sure, you're like, oh, I didn't know he did one from Wasa. Oh, huh. click. And it will bring you right to that reaction. Piece of cake. Okay. We have the exact same thing for the live streams in order where you get the list, the track list of what we did on that live stream. You even have Tamara's takes. She takes time marks time hacks of all the dumb stuff I say. Look how long that list is. That can't be right. But that's the live streams. We have the same thing for Run BTS, the BU, all that stuff. And yes, you can search. So let's see, if I go to, actually, let me get back to you on the search muse. Yeah, but you can search. Up here on the top right, you've got search options, and you can search by channel for what you want. Hwasa, um, you know, Stray Kids, whatever, and it will come up. Okay? Okay, Lou, here is where I'm going to kind of need you to make sure that I am on point, because I don't put reactions for myself. If you scroll down to, where is it? Request drops, is that it, Lou?
Yes. All right, so in Roscoe channels, you're gonna see one called request drops. And each of these are forums. Now, if you wanna put a request for me to watch, this is where you do it. And as Lulu just said, the forums are marked with a circle and a square. That is the forum that you want. Click on that. These are where the requests go. Now, don't just choose a forum and just throw something in there. We keep it as clean and organized as possible. If you wanna put an AT's reaction in there, here are the rules, okay? I'm gonna read it to you so you understand that each of these forums have these kinds of rules. Um, AT's reaction requests. AT's and AT's related reaction requests for Roscoe. Please include a valid link, a brief description, and the type of video it is. An interview, a music video, a cover, behind the scenes, whatever. Um, an emoji has been included to like a request that's already there. So if you see something that somebody else put, you just click that up arrow. It's kind of like upvotes on Reddit, for example. A green check means your request has been added to a list for Roscoe and your post may be deleted, okay? A red exclamation point emoji means we need some more info or have to wait until a later date for that request for whatever reason, okay? So let's say if I go into the AT's section, uh, let's see on the right side here, okay? Here's one from Corey. There's a link, perfect. AT's Outlaw live performance, they did at a showcase, it's a live performance. And then that's been upvoted 15 times by people. They said, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I wanted to see that one, click. Okay, one from Cat, link, upvote 14, boom. See what I mean? That's it, pretty straightforward. But this is where the requests go is in the appropriate section. BTS reaction requests. Same thing. Good? Yeah, and also note that, I mean, if you're like me, I'm, I'm not much of a reader. If it's not girl talk, I, I have trouble, okay? But when we have laid out little rules or descriptions, it would behoove you to give it a quick glance. We try to keep it as concise as we can. Well, uh, we, <laughs> Lulu keeps it as concise as she can. She's not a rambler like me. So that way you understand exactly, like if you're gonna put a request, you want it to be seen. So you just gotta follow those rules, okay? Interviews, TV shows, variety series. When we build our playlists for most of the live, this is where the information comes from. Unless I see something and I'm like, oh, yo, this is new, let's throw this on a list. That happens, but a lot of times this is where the information is fed from, okay? Now it looks like BTS, ATs, and Stray Kids have their own forum post, which you can see. ATs, Stray Kids, BTS. If you have other artists, we have that right here. Other video types. Is that right, Lou? This is where the other artists go. We've got Dingo Freestyle. The Rose, yeah, there we go. No, I'm not right. Don't listen to me. Lulu is always right. MVs go in the MV one. Oh, music videos here. Use the interview for interviews. Okay, gotcha. Music videos, making of. So if it's a BTS, ATs, or Stray Kids, those go in the appropriate spots. Anything else that's not those artists, put those in live performance. If it's a live performance, um, interviews, and so on. Hopefully that makes sense. But again, if you're not, if you don't care about throwing a request in, this is just for people that wanna do that, okay? Generally speaking, once you're in the Discord, you've accepted the rules, you've chosen your roles, you're probably gonna land immediately right in Comfy Couch. And then the welcome squad will crush you with love and welcomes immediately. Yep. Okay. All 
Hopefully that gets people kind of situated. Oh, also with the requests, okay? Because a lot of you come in just to put requests and that's fine. You can only put two requests per week, okay? We've had people come in and, and I get it because they don't read the rules, but you gotta come in one or two per week. If somebody comes in and they have where they literally put 15 requests in a row, that just bogs down the whole system, okay? We want people to have a fair chance to have their request used one or two per week. Yeah, if you come in and just spam 15, we're just gonna delete them, okay? And Lulu says this week at some point, and she'll put an event up in the Discord, she'll do a Discord walkthrough event, okay? So if, you, if you're still confused, if I'm going too fast for you, that's fine. Lulu will do a Discord walkthrough at some point, okay? Let me catch up here. Nice. And this is what you can expect when new people come in. All the gifts pop up of welcome, welcome home, welcome to the couch. And Rondo has this wallet full of weird Roscoe gifts. I don't know where she got them. I think she's a Photoshop wizard. Like that, see what I mean? I don't, I didn't do that. I didn't fall asleep at the wheel. Shin, don't encourage her. God. Oh. Here's one for you. Because we have, uh, Lou, is the, is the language thing still in? the flags it is all right let's see um lou say something in spanish in couch chat and i'll translate <clears throat> i'm gonna show you this and tag me just so it doesn't get lost in the in the mess because we have such a broad family that spans the world Sometimes people come in and they're like, well, I don't, I don't, my English isn't great or whatever. Um, we have a translation plugin that Lulu put in. Okay. Let's see. I'll show you how this works. Okay. So there we go. So Tad just said something, tagged me and said something in Japanese and you can't see it yet. Hold on. Let's see if I can. There we go. Right there. Okay. See this right here? What I'm gonna do is I am going to, I can scroll over. I'm gonna put an emoji on that message. Where are my emojis? Add reaction, view more. USA, right there. I'm gonna put an American flag. And it's gonna translate that message. See this right here? Right there, from Japanese, it says today. See how that works? Here's another one. Mog, Mog said uh, that right there. Okay, get a little reaction. And you don't have to highlight it, I'm just being a bozo. USA, that's a hot dog. There we go, there's the US flag, click. So I click my country flag, I have not been running. So that just translated from German to English. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So you just choose your nation flag, your national flag, and it will translate for you. <laughs> yeah, very handy. If you're not sure, just choose hot dog, and, the, and there you go. Pretty neat. madness good stuff huh okay uh lou what am i am i forgetting anything you feel like that's a pretty good that's a pretty good role
Monica needs to see it again. I wonder if I can translate backwards. All right, I'm going to choose um, Tamara's message that says Monica needs to see it again. She said it in English. So I'm going to add a reaction and I'm going to choose um, Germany. Uh, I'm just going to choose any one of them. Let's see. Flag. Oh, you type flag. Maybe that's the best way to do it. Let's go with that one. And it translates. So just choose, you type flag in the reactions of the emojis and you'll get all the different countries you choose yours and it will translate into your language, okay? There you go. There you go, Monica. Let's see, what did Lulu say? Start, welcome room, go to server rules, that's it. Yep, so when you start, you're in the welcome room, you read the server rules, you click the green check mark. That will open up the server for you. For access, you go to roles, choose the roles that you want, BTS, ATs, adult channels for 18 and up. And then just come in and say hello in the comfy couch chat, okay? And that is you getting your feet wet. So fun. Now it does take some, it does take some time um, to kind of get the hang of, okay? Especially in terms of um, when you get in and you get into chat, especially if you're kind of new at this, you just kind of start chatting and that's fine. And that's where the mods come in, okay? Because organically, because we're people and our brains are incredibly complex, the conversations will naturally shift, especially when there's a lot of people talking, right? So if you find yourself in a conversation and it starts to veer towards um, BTS, a couple sentences back and forth, it's not a big deal, but once the topic has become BTS, we gotta shift down to the BTS chat, okay? Same thing goes for Stray Kids. Um, if you start talking about gaming, as Joyce mentioned, slide down to gaming. That way it just keeps everything pretty clean. Um, and moderators will will jump in, and I this is exactly how it will work, okay? They'll remind you, like, hey guys, bring that down to gaming. Yep, sorry, wasn't even thinking. And they do that to me too. If I start causing trouble, I'm like, oh, well, I was playing World of Roscoe, gaming, sorry. I forget too, no big deal, just how it works. And that is their absolute role, right? So that is why I have put the mods in place to keep things clean, to keep it organized. Um, we have a lot of people. We just, I think we're either just about to, or we just broke the 2000 member mark. So we have a couple thousand people in here. Um, and honestly, we've received many, many um, compliments from people that have been all throughout Discord and said, this is really, really smooth. It's clean, it's organized. And that's all because Lulu does what she does. And it's because the mods do what they do. Of course, I feel a little weird when I'm talking about candy and pizza. And one of the mods goes, Bosco, food and drink. Ah, sorry. And then I go, that's all right. That's how it works. That's exactly what they're for. Okay. So don't sweat it. Now, I will tell you from adult to adult, if you disrespect the mods, you got to go. Plain and simple. Tamara's right. I run a tight ship, and I run that ship around respect. I know it can be a little off-putting when you're like, oh, man, they told me again. I don't know where I'm supposed to put stuff. I know that can be frustrating at first. But we understand that it's kind of new for a lot of you. But you will get the hang of it. And then I think you'll have fun. A lot of people really, really enjoy Discord. And it's, I know it's done a lot of good things for a lot of people. Yep. If you don't know, just ask. Can't go wrong. That is, that is what we're all there for. We want to keep this as safe and inclusive as possible. I mean, we have a mental health bench that is 18 and up. 
that's you just go in there and like, oh man, like I'm, I'm kind of struggling right now. This is what my week looked like. I don't really know what to do here. I could use some advice. And then people will chime in and help you as best they can. Just be a support, support role for you. Try to guide you, support you. We have a rant channel. So like me, for instance, I literally just went in there. I don't expect a response from anybody. I don't need advice. I just wanted to go in there and just yell into the void that is the rant channel to say, hey, when you're behind the wheel of a car, everybody knows when you're using your damn phone. So stop, you're gonna hurt somebody. Now, was I talking to somebody in Discord? No. But I watched it happen in real life and I couldn't yell at the person because they turned right and ah, ah, ah. it's off in the wind. I just had to get it out of me. That's what the rant channel is for. So welcome to all of our new folks. Oh, Monica, I sound like your dad, but it's true. Uh, yeah. So those of you that are new at the Discord, or actually I'll say everybody, everybody that participated today, or if you're on Discord, you didn't participate, whatever. Do you feel like you have a basic understanding of how to get into a server, accept the rules, and then navigate the channels? Simple as that, that's all you need to know right now. Okay? Yeah, okay. And some of you, it might take you a little bit, take a couple days. Thank you. Good, okay, good. Because remember, we've got a mission coming up. We've got a couple missions coming up. Okay. Good. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna show you is, um, let's say, because we do have the international couch, people from all over the world. Um, I think there's probably a, a, a significant chunk of people that are um, probably US based or at least, you know, North America based probably. So hours can kind of go a little off sometimes. You're, you might be in mental health bench and you're, you know, oh, I had a rough week, like a, I could use some advice right now, you know, whatever. And you put that out there and there's not a response, okay? That's pretty much how it works because sometimes, you know, people are in and out. But what you can do is, see if I can give you the big screen here. You can put, at, you know, the same way you did at moderator, you can do at care, type in C-A-R-E. Why didn't it show up? Care Bear. Why isn't it showing up? Is it, is it the heart? Lou, what's going on? Why isn't it showing up? Okay, but how do I do that? All one word? Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. So if you type at Care Bear, one word, Care Bear, just like that. See how, you don't have to type all that with the hearts and the arrows, but you type in Care Bear, all one word, it's gonna give you this link up here that says Care Bear. And that's gonna put a link to a Care Bear and be like, can someone give me, can uh, someone chat with me? And that's gonna tag our Care Bears. Our Care Bears are the ones that, um, there you go. Okay, there's Neha. Neha is not on the chat. Let me let her know. We're just testing, okay? That's gonna tag the Care Bears. And these are people that we've selected 
to kind of like come in and just be a supportive ear and listen. Um, and now please let me make it clear that like the, the Care Bears role, right, is, is to really be there. And like Neha, for instance, Neha is a licensed psychologist. She is a therapist. This is what she does for a living. Now, the Discord is not her full-time job. Okay, but she's amazing at what she does. She has a huge heart, she's lovely, but, and she is the outlier, okay? All the other Care Bears are just regular people, big hearts, good listeners, okay? So we're there to support you. If it's like struggling, tag a Care Bear, okay? If you're like me and you just wanna rant about somebody that didn't use their turn signal, that's not a Care Bear. That's not a Care Bear moment, okay? Just like that, that's how it works, okay? That's a pretty important one. Oh yeah, I know. The panic that Neha must have felt. Sweet Neha. Yeah, there's a big difference between venting, which is what the rant and vent channel is for, and the mental health bench, which is, you know, you you're kind of want a response. You want people to chime in on what you're saying and, and just kind of like sit down and just have somebody to chat with. But you feel like it's deeper than that, you know, or whatever, you can tag a caravan and be like, hey, can you just, just kind of run me through something? I'm just kind of struggling, what's going on? And they'll probably just send you a DM and then you can chat privately, okay? Hopefully that makes uh, sense. And the, you know, the things like the Care Bears um, or, you know, even gifts and stuff, those are just nuances that Discord has that you can use to make the whole experience a little bit more uh, complete, I guess. Jinja says, how do you become a Care Bear? Jinja, our Care Bears are hand selected by uh, me and the mod team. As you can tell, hopefully, especially those of you that weren't in the Discord or you're just lurkers and workers and twerkers, whatever, um, you can see the very, very great extents that we have gone to, to try to keep things as inclusive, inclusive as possible, um, as supportive as possible, and as positive as we can make it. We give you a place to vent. And honestly, the mental health bench also is, um, is not just for like, I'm struggling. You can go in there and be like, yo, my whole world just changed. And let me tell you what happened. I got a raise at my job. I got a promotion. I thought I was getting fired, but they promoted me. Like, my, I'm on cloud nine. Well, you can use the mental health bench for that too. Yep. It is a wonderful community that we have worked extremely hard for two plus years on. Um, and not only that, not only have we built it, and I say we because you are included in that, we have built it, we have also maintained it. And that is, in and of itself, a feat. The fact that you can not speak English at all, come in here and translate chats back and forth is significant. The fact that you can come in and rant or you can ask for support, you can ask for help, you can come in here and just throw gifts in the, the live stream channel. Good stuff. Yeah, Tina, you have been here for that long. Yep, I know you have. And here's another point that I will make, okay? And I'm actually glad that Tina said that. Some of you have been here since the beginning. We opened up the Discord, I think it was February, it was like February 12th, 2022, I think it was, or 13th, okay? Um, when you first opened up the Discord, people flooded in. I think Lulu corrected me, it was about 500 people the first day. And, and that means like when we opened it, it was game on, here we go. And people flooded in. That was 
holes in the boat. It was like, I, it, and th I had nothing to do with that. That was Lulu and the mods. It was madness. And they kept, cause I was like, uh, I didn't even know what the hell was going on, but they did that. Um, some of you have been here since that time, or you came in a couple months later, you came in a year later, it doesn't matter. Over the two years that we've done this, we have people that have been there, been here since the beginning, and we have people that are, that are kind of new. But all of you serve a purpose, and I need you to understand that, right? We have people that um, are kind of the OGs of the couch because they've been here since the very beginning. Yeah, Nancy says you joined in February 13th. So you're the ones that we count on to kind of help the new people that come in, don't really understand the rules or how this works and help respectively guide them to, hey guys, uh, food channel. Yep, oh, you're right, sorry, still kind of getting used to this. Boom, and they slide down, okay? You can even give them a link. Um, and it does get chaotic because we have so many different channels, we have so many different um, sections. But like I said, you'll kind of find your, your, um, your way after a couple days. We teach each other, we help each other. So you, you um, Discordians, you've been here since the beginning. You're the ones that I kind of count on when, well, actually all the time. I mean, you're my, you're my sergeants. You've risen up through the ranks and you know your way around. So the new people that come in that are the, the privates, the private first classes, still kind of getting their way, kind of wobbling around. You just kind of guide them to where they go. Yep. Hopefully that helps. Like I said, I know it's a lot of information, but once you understand the basic fundamentals of the basic fundamentals of just navigating the channels, it's really just repeating that process until, well, actually that's it. That's everything. So welcome to all the new folks. Are you ready for a little training mission? Now this is just going to be in house, but we're gonna we're gonna test this out a little bit, okay? All right, I'm gonna go to let's see. All right, listen closely. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna go down to the current live stream channel, but I don't want you to post anything, okay? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna close it. I wanna hold this chat for a second, okay? Let me see if also, if I can just make this complete, cause you're missing some of my screen, stand by. Right there. All right, there we go. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so right there is good enough. Okay. Got it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to create team one, team two. Team three, okay? And then I'm gonna put a, uh, let's go with the green check mark under each one. Okay, now listen closely. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go down to the current live stream channel and I want you to select one of those teams, just one. Oh, that's beautiful. 
okay? So everybody should be in one team only. Again, this is training for a potential mission, okay? Beautiful. Okay, that's pretty good. Wow, that's that's pretty good. We're kind of evenly put between about 30, about 30 people. Okay, right there. Well done, everybody. Now, everybody's in one team, correct? I kind of need to know numbers here. Okay, good. All right, good deal. We got team one, team two, team three. Uh, let's see. Shannon, are you in Discord? Are you in one of these teams? Tina, are you in one of these teams? Okay, Tina is in a team, good. Let me wait on Shannon. Shannon, yes. Okay, Tina and Shannon, you're gonna be my rogue cells. You're gonna be my solos, okay? So I'm gonna direct team one, team two, and team three. At some point, I'm gonna call on Tina, you're gonna do X. Shannon, you're gonna do Y, okay? Our team's ready. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Listen closely. Make sure you know which team you are. Team one, your target is comfy couch. Wait, wait for the green light. Team one, and I'm even gonna, I'm gonna edit this, okay? Team one, you're in comfy couch target, okay? Team two, you are going to be the rant channel is your target. Team three, your target is going to be the, let's go with the uh, YouTube Twitch reactions chat, okay? So there are your targets. Here's what you're gonna do. When I give you the green light, you're going to go to your target channel and you're gonna start spamming GIFs, okay? Spamming GIFs until I call back. When I call back, everybody comes back to the current live stream channel, okay? Wait, not yet, not yet. We can't give it away yet. Tina and Shannon, I'm gonna call you out as we go, and I'm gonna need you to, to find the next channel and hit them. Okay, it doesn't matter what gifts. If you wanna choose your favorite artist, that's fine. All right, here we go. Stand by. Go, all right, team one, comfy couch chat, go. Team two, rant channel, go. Team three, YouTube Twitch reactions, go. Okay, here's Comfy Couch Chat. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Okay, Rant Channel, Twitch Reactions. Good, keep going, keep going. All right, Tina, I need you in Roscoe Memes. Start hitting GIFs, Roscoe Memes. Was that Tina or Shannon? I forgot already. Shannon, I want you to go to your story and put a couple hearts. Whether they're purple or red is up to you, but I need hearts in your story. All right, and back, back to current live stream. Everybody back. Once you're back in the channel, current live stream, give me a, give me a back so I know you're back. And that should slow things down. Okay, let me find out what Comfy Couch looks like. 
back. <laughs> All right, I see you, Shannon. Good job. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. That was fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Very good. All right, let's see what we did here. Roscoe memes. Tina, this was you, I think. Yes, it was. And then Shannon was in your story. We got hearts. Beautiful. Comfy couch was chaos. We got current live stream. It's where you are. YouTube, Twitch reactions. Chaos. Beautiful. Rant channel. Yep. Chaos. Well done, everybody. That is fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> and dang, you had to use two phones. I appreciate your commitment, your dedication. Awesome. Did you enjoy that? This is training. Not only, not only are we training you how to use Discord, but we are training to cause chaos elsewhere. Good. Hey, Darrenis, I saw you. I just saw your thing. Hey, buddy. Add that to your resume. <laughs> Maybe that's a good question. We've got a couple people selected, but remember, this is, this is on the down low, okay? We're keeping this quiet. This is a secret mission. We can't have people know that we're up to something. They can't know, okay? So we keep it on the down low. That's right. Katarina, we just did a big Discord mission. Yep, good stuff. What's the easiest way to do this? Oh, I know. Okay, here's the next part of the mission. Let me take this. Let that catch up. And this is the real, this, if that, if, if us doing this is considered secret, this part is considered top secret. Okay. Cause I'm going to know who dropped the ball. Some of you. Some of you follow other reactors, and that's fine. I've come to terms with it. Some of you follow other reactors. Well, some of these other reactors have discords. Some of these other reactors need some more love in their life, so maybe some more chaos in their life. So here's the deal. Any reactor that you enjoy, I want you to join their Discord. However, don't go right now if, the, if we have an influx of people that just suddenly show up in other people's Discords, they're gonna know something's up, okay? So, before next Friday, now I'm not saying the mission is next Friday, I'm just saying I'm giving you all week, slowly, just choose a day this week, that you go register for Gino's Discord. Not right now. Somewhere else. Like Wednesday. Because we need, if we're going to infiltrate from the inside, which is like, we need to be slow, methodical. They can't see us coming. Okay, good. If you watch John Reeves, register for his Discord sometime this week, not right now. It's too obvious, okay? Anybody else that's got a Discord? Got games, sure. Master Go? 
Yep. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. So very slowly throughout the week, if you want to hit a different reactor, hey, Lou, is there a way? Is there a way that maybe we could? Uh, well, I'll figure that out. We'll see if there's a way we can like collect the links and invites. Um, but we'll figure that out later. Okay. And you know what, Muse, if you don't follow anybody else, that's okay too. Uh, but I will say though, the first target is going to be Gino. Okay. DJ Gino. Keep it on the DL. Ooh, if there's one thing I've learned about that guy, he's got a big mouth. He's always rambling. <laughs> And he'll just, he'll just spout it off to everybody. And then they're going to know. It's not the same. I want to surprise him. I want to surprise him when he's live. And he's all like, my check, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And uh, boom. Da, 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 da. Oh, boy. <laughs> I want to slow his stream down. That's what I want to do. I want it to be such madness that it's just, it shows up on the stream. Uh, yeah, not next time he's live, no. But when he is live, once we get everybody registered to the servers throughout the week, okay? Oh, Hannah, he won't, trust me. He doesn't watch me. Unless he knows I'm live and then he just comes. And as soon as he comes in, he goes, hey, let's go. And I go, oh, hey, buddy, here we, here we go. So that's how you know he's in here. But yes, chaos is a form of love. That's right, Shannon. No snitching. Um, uh, not yet. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to get the links together. We will identify each target and we will give probably a week so if you're in the Discord now, which you need to be for the mission, we will post uh, the links at some point and we'll notify everyone. I'll tell you on the next live stream, hey, we've got a link to the next target. You have five days to register for this server, okay? And then I will give you a heads up, hey, we, are, we have a mission coming up tomorrow on the live stream. Please be there and bring your stuff. It's going to be the uh, Discord, Tamara. That's the idea. And then after Gino, we will choose another target. And we will skip our way to happiness. We will leave a trail of satisfied behind us. Madness. <laughs> oh, that is it. Yep. But remember, we keep it on the down low. Don't all register today. You got all week because we have to be strategic about this. They can't know we're coming. Jim Games is good. Yep. And we'll, we'll choose the targets as we go. We'll post that link to their server. And then very slowly, we'll start to creep in there and they will have no idea. We'll identify the next mission, go live. And when we go live and it's, it's attack time, I'm going to bring up, I'll show you how this is going to work. I'll have a whole schematic. I'll set the teams. You'll know which team you're on. You'll have a list of channels for that Discord. All the channels there on the left-hand side. And before we leave our server, we'll have the teams laid out. Team, team Spicy, Team BTS, Team ATs, whatever. We'll have them all laid out. Everybody knows their target channel. You know what gifts you're posting, whatever message you're saying. You'll know exactly what you're doing. I'm gonna have some of you that are probably kind of new, you'll be my solo cells, and I'll have you kind of running out and doing smaller objectives, but still important. Tribe Louie's good, yep. And if, if they have to have a Discord, obviously, so I don't know if, if all these people that you've mentioned do, 
So, yep. And how will you assemble us? Uh, good question, Isabel. So same way we did today, at some point, we might even make a room like a, like a formation room in the Discord, in our Discord, where I say, all right, everybody assemble here. All right, choose your team. All right, you choose your team, good. Here are your targets. And then, oh, the war room, I like that. Good one, Lee. And then when it's time, I give the green light. We're all gonna slide over to that, that Discord. And then we're gonna hit our targets. And I'm gonna be calling the shots as we go. Team one, this room, go. Team one, shift to this room, go. Madeline, how do we get cute outfits? Yo, we might need to change our PFPs for this. That might be necessary. We might have to have some... Ooh, I like that idea. Yeah, this might have to be a whole thing. It's only temporary. It's like a disguise, right? You change your PFP when you do the mission, and then when you come back, you change it back. Nobody knows. Yep. I like it. <laughs> We're gonna make some couch gifts and picks for the raids. I love that idea. That's fantastic. Yeah, PFP is profile pick. Yep. This is great. Oh, you want to hit Nico? Yeah, we'll hit Nico too. What you got to say? Absolutely. Oh, and he's going to know. Yep, here comes Roscoe. Yep. You want to change your names for the mission too? I'm, I'm good with that. We'll go full clandestine. Just shadows. Shadow spice. Dressed as a bush spice. Hi, Darrenus. See you, buddy. Lou, like to suggest a K-pop group that is different from what you know so far. A virtual group and are called Plave. Relatively new group, Plave. Well, thank you, Lou. Tasia, throw that on a list. Not a list. Throw that in the, re the request if you would. No one of consequence. Oh, I love that. Maybe we do like all Princess Bride references. The Dread Pirate Roberts. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna change mine to not Roscoe. Good stuff. Mowage! <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited about this, for real. You guys did really, really well. I think this is gonna be so fun. Yep. You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Oh, that's a good one. So Becca just asked, can you go over how to get uh, Discord notifications? Now, Becca, are you talking about like when I drop videos or do you mean Discord notifications like if somebody messages you or something? I love all the, I love all the, the lines now. To blame. <laughs> Uh, notifications for the mission. So as long as you are um, in the Discord, we're gonna do a, we're gonna ping everyone, okay? So we'll message every single person at once, assemble, and you'll know. And you'll know that that's, um, that it's time. Oh, no, you don't need to be on Discord all the time. Absolutely not. No. Um, if you have, uh, let me think. So like if you have Discord on your phone, the app, it will note, it'll send you a notification on your phone that says somebody pinged you, okay? 
Oh, that's a good question. Who's that? Purple Disney just asked, is this mission something positive or are we causing trouble? No, this is absolutely positive. Yeah. Yeah, when I say chaos, I mean like I want to go spread fun is what I'm going for. Yep, positive chaos, absolutely. Positive trouble, <laughs> yep. I might have some of you just humperdink, humperdink, humperdink. Very Princess Bride. Because you can't deny when s hundreds of bunnies just come running and start tracking mud through other people's Discord, you can't help but smile and be like, oh man, I mean, that's a bit of a mess, but look how cute they are. Whee! And then the one little final bunny. That's it. A surprise party. Yeah. They're going to love it. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. Yeah, Joyce, that's something that I always forget and I want, I want to do. So I just, it's a matter of me remembering when we end a live stream on Twitch. Maybe today we'll try to do it. We find somebody else that uh, is worth chiming into and we raid their channel. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with that term, it basically means that's on me. So like if I have a live stream on Twitch, like I'm live right now, and I'm gonna end the stream, instead of just ending the stream, I can redirect the entire audience, the whole chat, all of you, over into somebody else's stream with the click of a button. And you're over there. That's called a raid. So that's something else that might be kind of fun. Yeah, Pagan, I, we'd raid Pagan. Mm-hmm, you got it. So it looks like everybody's on board. You kind of understand how things work. You understand the mission. Sweet. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I, I know Nico. Um, Nico's great people. We're definitely not looking to cause trouble, I can assure you. Yeah, it'll be like purple heart raids and, and all the fun stuff. We just want to spread the love. And honestly, it's, it's um, sometimes there's only so many ways that these communities kind of uh, interact directly. Now, what I mean by that is indirectly is kind of like where I was, uh, like I watch, a like if I pull up Gino, one of his previous videos, I'll see a lot of you guys in that chat. Now, while it's devastating and breaks my heart and I cry for probably an hour or two every time I see it, um, it's not a big deal, it's fine, it's fine, it's, it's whatever, it's fine. Um, that's kind of indirectly because when I'm not on, you're over with the side chick. Okay, that's fine, but you kind of have to choose sometimes. Well, the beauty of this is now we get to take all of us and go bother all of them and spread the love and the hearts and then come back. And then at some point, some of you turd biscuits are going to be over there and you're going to be like, oh, let's go bother Roscoe. And you come over here and you bother me for a little while. And it just creates a lot more overlap and sharing the communities. And I love that. Yeah. Callie, you won't miss anything important. There's literally nothing important ever going on here. No, it's just us hanging out. Yeah. You cheat on Gina with me? I'll take that. I get it. Look at me. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Hello. So that's the idea. Yeah. So when we go bother Nico and them, it'll be, we come in peace, we come in love. Yep. If, uh, if Nico's live on Twitch someday, when I end a, end a stream, we'll go raid Nico. Yep, we'll get John. And like I said, we'll start creating a target list for Disc Ward. It sounds weird, but it makes sense. Yes, we are going to be doing pizza party tonight at 6 p.m., 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good deal. All right, let's see here. 
I'll check my list. Uh, we have been live for two hours. Wow. I'm sorry you haven't gotten a pee break yet. That is extremely rude for me. All right, let me see what I got on my list here. Two hours already. There was a Fuji Kaze tiny desk today. What? Huh. We might have to check that out later. Absolutely. When I go rogue, well, not rogue, request fast. At some point, yeah, I'll check that out. That's awesome. Hopefully there's a, we can watch it. All right, let's do this. Why don't we? Yeah, Tiny Desk is absolutely a Twitch thing for sure. YouTube cannot be trusted these days. All the warnings they're throwing around. Rogue Roscoe is going to be a Twitch thing. We got some other stuff that we can watch. And like I said, for those of you that came in a little bit late, understand that today's live stream slash live streams is going to be a little bit more chill than our usual mad dash of reaction after reaction after reaction. We're still going to watch stuff. We're still going to have fun. We're going to eat some pizza. Um... We got Request Fest later. That's when the real chaos is going to kick off, is Request Fest, but in a very organized and fun fashion. Wow, I sound like Monica from Friends. Wow, that one hurt me a little bit. Um, but we do have some nice little tidbits of fun that will be kind of interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when we do the Request, uh, request Fest, you can request anything you want, but I do put parameters on there, okay? And what that means is it needs to be about the length of a music video. So we're talking like five or six minutes, give or take. Um, it can't be something like crazy controversial that's gonna get me and everybody else in trouble. It can't be a movie. It can't be a concert or a whole series. Like, please watch all seasons of Survivor. There's 46 seasons of Survivor, no. If you have a music video that you're like, oh, let's check that out, we'll go from there. But the Request Fest is organized chaos in its most beautiful fashion. It's one of the few times uh, that I have highlighted very deliberately that you guys actually listen pretty well. Not always, but when you need to. Good. So why don't we do this, okay? We've got a pretty good crew. We've got about 250 people right now. I'm hoping that all of you can join us on Twitch. And yeah, you're right. We do need to do another movie night for sure. That was so fun. I still can't remember the movie. I just know it's David Bowie's crotch. What was it? The Goblin King? No, I'm the go No, he's the Goblin King. Labyrinth. Why don't I remember that? Because cod piece, that's why. It's just, it's right here. It's like, bro, I'm, I'm trying to have pizza. I'm trying to eat cheese balls. And he's like, oh, the baby, the baby, the baby. <laughs> you all said it was twisted. I didn't know that's why it was twisted. <laughs> all right. So hopefully you can join us over on Twitch. Why don't we just do a pee break and the fact that we will, the fact, I'm reading chat and talking, bad idea. Let's get the link for Twitch up in the chat. Oh, hey, Red, long time no see, buddy. Oh, I love the dark crystal. Yeah, link, please. We're gonna switch here uh, shortly, Ray. We'll do a, a bathroom break, do a little pee break. Rondo bonus? I don't know. You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it is. Uh, there we go. So the link for Twitch 
is right there. Let me see if I can pin that. Maybe. Maybe not. That's not an option for me. There we go. Okay, Rondo has put the, uh, the link up there. So make sure you're following me on Twitch. We're gonna slide, we're gonna do a little pee break. We'll slide over. And then the fun can begin because we don't have to worry about all of YouTube's silly little rules. Okay. I hope you had fun today. I hope you're sticking around. Like I said, we got a we got a really solid group right now. So I wanna I want to keep as many as we can. Okay. So I'll see you over on Twitch. Make sure you're following. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Don't forget. Don't forget to click the like button.